How's it going everyone? James Lynch here for Odds Checker US doing my breakdown of Saturday night's UFC 258 main event which sees welterweight champion Kamara Usman defend his welterweight title against former teammate Gilbert Burns in the main event. This is going to be taking place at the Apex in Las Vegas. Let's start first with Kamara Usman, 33 years old, 6 feet tall with a 77.5 inch reach. Going to have a nice reach advantage in this matchup. Of course, Usman left Sanford MMA where he was training in Florida to train an elevation fight team in Colorado with Justin Gaethje, the former uh, UFC in term uh, lightweight champion so Usman getting a really good camp of this uh, in, in this uh, one ahead of the uh, title fight against Gilbert Burns uh, Usman hasn't lost in a very long time he uh, hasn't lost actually since his uh, second pro fight back in uh, May of 2013 he's on a great winning streak currently undefeated in the UFC and he last saw action against Jorge Masvidal where he got a decision over uh, game bread at UFC 251 back in July of 2020 that was actually the fight that was supposed to be Burns uh, back then if you remember Burns got COVID so Jorge Masvidal stepped in on short notice and took Took the fight instead, but Usman with a dominant win in that one. Burns hasn't fought in a while. He's uh, 34 years old, so a little bit older than uh, Usman, but he hasn't fought since that win over Tyron Woodley, the former welterweight champion, back in May of 2020. So both fighters having decent layoffs coming into this matchup. Uh, Burns, we know what he's great at. He's got really good stand-up. We've seen that over the last couple fights. We saw that in his knockout win over Damian Maya, but he's also got really good jiu-jitsu. This is where this guy started, was a jiu-jitsu base. So it'll be very interesting if this fight hits the mat with Burns' jiu-jitsu. I think he's got a little bit more power in his striking as well so it's very interesting to see how this fight unfolds on Saturday but if we're going by the numbers if we're going by history I got to take Kamaru Usman in this fight I just think the pace that he sets is very tough for a lot of welterweights to deal with including Gilbert Burns I think if he's able to weather the early storm from Burns whether it's on the ground or on the feet I think Usman will use his wrestling and his pace to pick up uh, a decision in this fight uh, right now Usman about a 3-1 to one favorite I would look at that Usman by decision prop I think that's more likely in this one I know he has finished or did finish Colby Covington uh, just two fights ago but I think Gilbert Burns, pretty tough guy to finish uh, in the octagon. So I would lean more towards the decision prop with Usman. But either way, I think this is Usman's fight to lose. Um, just like I said, very, very good fighter, very good pace, very good wrestling. I think that will be able to neutralize a lot of the weapons that Burns brings to the table with both his striking and his jiu-jitsu. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who are you picking on Saturday night? How do you think they get it done? Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel on Odds Checker US, where you will get to find my breakdowns every single week along with my interviews as well so i'm james lynch thanks so much for watching and enjoy the fights this saturday night